So a lot has happened since the last time we did one of these videos. There wasn't hardly any harvested corn or beans. Today, uh, 30th of October, uh, there's hardly any corn left and a lot of tillage going on. And today we're gonna focus on anhydrous. Just getting started with anhydrous ammonia for southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. Um, the reason why we wait until this time of year is we want to make sure our soil temperatures are down in the under 50. Um, the other day we looked at that, we we're kind of teetering in the 40s, so this is a pretty, pretty good time to get started on that. Um, the reason why we worry about that is because we don't want to have any leaching potential. Uh, nitrogen has uh, has some uh, time and some heat in the ground, uh, we can have some bacterial uh, bacterial work on, on that nitrogen and turn it into a leachable form. So we try to do everything we can to try to minimize that with nitrogen stabilizers like Enzone, Enserve, and Centuro. Those are three products that are out there in the industry and making sure that we put it on in a proper manner, which is cold, colder ground or in the fall. Depending on if you're on the Minnesota side or the Iowa side, will also depend on how, how and when we can put in hydrous on. In 2020, uh, we have uh, some part of our area that we cover that will not be allowed to put in hydrous ammonia in the fall. Um, those maps are pretty easy accessible for, for the agronomist to make sure that you're not in that zone or not. But uh, it just takes a couple seconds on a website to take a look and uh, we can kind of go from there. Uh, but one of the reasons why we want to make sure that we do a good job of this is because we got to make sure this is good incorporated. So you can kind of see down here, this is a few days after we had some snow around here. The ground is fairly wet. But we need to have moisture for anhydrous ammonia to uh, lock into the soil. Um, what happens is it, that it hits the water and then it ties to the, uh, to, ties to the soil. We can't have it too dry, otherwise it could possibly just go back into the atmosphere. If it's too wet, these fields won't smear. But you can see out in the distance, our machine's going on this uh, field here, uh, going around the outside of it. Um, <clears throat> the rig has uh, some coulters to make sure it's making a nice cut for our discs, or for our, for our uh, knives. We got uh, injection knives that go into the ground six, five to six inches. And we also have some closing discs behind it to make sure that we have that slit or that furrow that that knife uh, puts in the ground covered up nicely. Um, and usually, and like I said, anhydrous has um, been used for a long time uh, for our area because it's it's economical, it's uh, very flexible, um, <clears throat> and and fairly cost effective. So this time of the year is a great time to get anhydrous ammonia applied. If you got any questions or anything, or if you need any help with uh, custom application, we have a bar that is out there and getting product applied as we speak. Otherwise, if there's anything else, give us one of us a call and we'll help you out. Have a great day.